hey my friends this is truly an important time to prepare yourself to ascend emotionally what it means so for a long time we've been spending most of our days in the emotions of survival being afraid of what is happening of course especially right now do, do, during this pandemic and you know so many people are afraid so many people are stressed out worrying in that emotional tension but at the same time the frequency of the planet earth is rising and therefore many people are rising with it many people are grounding themselves so they can become aware of the essence of who we truly are so it's an important time right now to emotionally ascend and to prepare ourselves for our daily lives to become more aware of how everything is actually happening for our greater good so if we truly remind ourselves in every single moment to be the best friend to ourselves or of ourselves we will be more kind to ourselves right so in every single moment my friends be your greatest friend to yourself it means that when hard times will appear tap yourself onto the shoulders and say you did the best you could or you did the best you knew at that time you always have that capacity to improve yourself but blaming yourself is not improvement it's not an act of improvement if you express some appreciation that you are still standing it will help you to move on it will help you to download some new inspiration to take a greater action ne next time tomorrow we have another truly powerful day and then the whole February is a month of initiation, a month of manifestation. It's time to manifest greater results. But if we want to manifest greater results, we need to ascend on the emotional level. So if we would look at the scale of emotions, we would see that at the bottom there's fear. There's a lot of fear present right now. Many people are spending most of, of their time at the bottom of that emotional scale. Then there's anger. Then there's the, the sense of separation, the frustration, the envy, comparison, judgment or judging. But if we move higher, there's balance, there's happiness, there's joy, then there's love, and above love, there's blissfulness. So, ascending on emotional level means that we move higher into the state of love, the state of unity where we see everything connected. We see that if we want to manifest the future, we need to see it as it's already present, so we can become it, so we can embody the energy of that reality. It doesn't mean that you need to see the results with your physical eyes. It means that you need to feel it with your energy body. As soon as you get with your energy onto that vibrational level, as that wanting reality is already present you will feel gratitude you will feel the presence of it and that's where you will ascend onto the level where that reality will start manifesting in your reality in your present reality so my friends visualize it when you go into meditation, visualize like what you want is already present. 
The life that you would like to live is already present. Your body is already healed. Your abundance is already present. See it in your mind's eye. See the money on your bank account. See the relationships which are based on love and care and compassion. See how humanity is connected, working in unity and coherence. See that. See the unity between people and nature and planet Earth and the great cosmos, the universe. See the great balance in everything. And if you can sense already the energy, I can feel it right now. As I'm talking about it, I can feel the energy. Like everything is connected with a golden web of light. And I would call it a divine web on which everything is connected in the present moment. So if we are able to connect with the potential that we would like to experience, and if we can focus on it for a longer period of time, let's say a few minutes, I can see my wanting reality. I can see the results that I would love to experience. I feel the gratitude as it's already present. I feel the joy from it. Just enjoy in the presence of it. And feel how the energy in your body is rising. Feel it. And stay in it. Remember that state. Remember that state. Even when you start your daily life, when you go at your job, when you do the other things that you're doing in the day, remember that feeling. Remember that. The power is in feeling. If we want to communicate with the divine, we are communicating with it through our feelings. In the ancient Sanskrit texts, it was written that our upper three energy centers are used for thinking. Our thoughts are like a focus point of what we are creating. Our thoughts are creating. Whatever we think about, we are creating. For thinking, we are using the upper three energy centers. Then it was written the lower three energy centers are being used for emotions. Emotions are using the lower three energy centers. But there was an interesting thing. At the middle, there's a heart center, which is only activated when the thoughts and emotions are aligned. As soon as when the thoughts and emotions are aligned, we experience a feeling. Feeling will happen deep inside our heart. And feeling is what is communicating with the divine. That's also what, the Greg, what Greg Braden is talking about, right? The divine matrix. Feeling is what is talking or communicating with the divine. So the point is that we start using our thoughts for creating what we want to experience and we align our emotions to those new thoughts. So how would it feel like emotionally if that reality would already be present? As soon as you will be able to sense the emotions of that potential reality, you will create a feeling. You will feel it deep inside your heart as that thing is already present. And that's how your energy body will ascend to that new reality. The new life, the new you, 
from which your new reality will emerge. Now you're generating that new reality that you are about to experience. So the whole February is a month which is encouraging us to do that inner shift but also to do that outer shift to embody now that new energy to take greater action to ask yourself what can you change on the physical level so you can align to that new energy so what are the changes at your behaviors that will connect or that will create a greater coherence between your internal shift and your outer reality. So I would always ask myself what habits are not supporting my vision that I would like to manifest. What are my habits that are still blocking me in order to manifest that? And I would change those habits. So the question now may arise like how to change my habits. So every time when you want to change your habits, you need to remember that habits are designed by consistent repetition of doing something. So when it comes to changing our habits on the physical level, we firstly need to decide for what we want to change them. For example, you would like to start waking up earlier so you will have one hour of more time to meditate. And you will experience that waking up earlier is hard and you may quit doing that or trying that. So to developing a habit of waking up earlier requires a consistent repetition for a longer period of time, let's say for 30 days or 60 days. For me, I found out that 40 days um, was enough to reprogram a new habit, to create or design a new habit. After 40 days, it became natural for me. But you may experience it a bit differently. If you will be waking up earlier so you can meditate for one hour, that's just an example, for 40 days or 30 days, even when it will be hard, you will still do it because you truly want to change. You will see that after that amount of time, it will become a natural thing to do. That's where you will develop a new habit. That's how we start aligning our physical plane our physical body, our physical reality, with the energy shift that we did within us. So, as I said, February is a month of making those changes in any area. It may be at your career, at your job, at maybe at certain routines, maybe at changing the place you're living in, maybe changing the relationships or improving the relationships. Sometimes we just need to become a better listener. Sometimes we need to open our hearts more to understand our partner. Me and Mai are moving to a new place in February. Right now we are actually in the middle of the process of moving and I'm truly grateful for that. I will have a bigger studio and I will be able to make bigger paintings which I'm truly looking forward to and I will show you everything when we will be there. So there's actually a truly great story how everything happened, how we've manifested our new home. It happened in three weeks. So if you you would like to hear the story, I will make a video about it. And this is it, my friends. So remember that now is the time to create. Stop reacting so often to what is happening and start creating. Focus on what you want to experience and place more attention to the potential so it can unfold in front of you. 
This is it, my friends. Have a beautiful day or night. I'm sending you love, blessings and power. And see you in the next one. One love.